Let's grow some blueberries and let's add a custom crop to Minecraft. Alright, we find ourselves back in Intelligent once more and in this tutorial we will be adding a custom crop block to Minecraft. Now this is actually, well, not the craziest thing all things considered. And also it's very important actually that you have the knowledge of block state properties, the thing we talked about last tutorial, because we're going to be using those in this tutorial as well. So where do we start in our custom block package? We're going to right click new Java class called the blueberry crop block. There you go. And this will extend the crop block class. There we go. And we'll hover over this create constructor matching super. Once again, if the parameter name annoys you, click on it, press shift F6 properties and there we go. Now if we middle mouse button click on the crop block class we can actually see all of the different methods that the crop block class overrides and you know has in it and we can see the integer property age. Now interestingly enough our blueberry crop only has six ages so we actually need to change something here. We can't use this age so what we want to do is we want to say public static final integer property called age equal to integer property dot create there you go age with the minimum being zero and the maximum being six. And then we need to override four methods that are very important. The first method to override is the get base ID seed. Now for this, what we're actually going to do is we're going to make this return nothing at the moment, not null, because what we actually want to do is a deliberate error here so that I don't forget to actually add the items in there in a moment. Then we wanted to override the get age property method. This should return the age. There you go. Then we want the get max age method. This should return six, basically whatever we are defining here as the max. And then also, of course, the create block state definition method, changing the parameter here once again to builder. And then we can just say builder.add and then adding the age property right here. And that is actually all that we need in this crop block class. So now let's go into the mod blocks and let's actually register it. So let's just copy over the jumpy block here. And this is going to be the blueberry underscore crop. And then the same name right here, blueberry underscore crop. And this is of course a blueberry crop block. Now the actual block behavior properties are going to be a little bit different. They are actually not going to be of, they're going to be copy. And the block we're going to be copying is going to be blocks.wheat. There we go. And then we also want something else, and that is we don't want to register a block here. What we actually want to do is we want to say blocks.register. Now, the question is, why would this be a thing? Then also take away the creative mode tab here, and then the error should go away. Now, why is that the case? We Because we don't actually want a separate item to be created for this particular block here, because the item that is going to be associated with this block is actually going to be the seeds item. So in our mod items class, we're going to now add the seeds and the blueberry as well. So this is going to be the blueberry underscore seeds. And then, of course, the name here as well, blueberry underscore seeds and this is going to be an item name block item with its first parameter being the block that it represents so that's going to be mod blocks that blueberry crop dot get and then the item properties we're just going to be fine with this just making it stack to 64 again and that should be fine for this and then here we have the blueberry itself so this is going to be the thing that we're actually you know wanting to harvest here so this is the blueberry and this is going to be a normal item now, of course, the interesting thing about a blueberry is that we are going to be able to eat it. So instead of the stacks to one, what we actually want is we want to call the food over here. And then we want to make some new food properties dot builder. You can see we already get this suggested. Press the tab key to autocomplete. And then we want to set the nutrition. Now we can set a few things that you can hear. On here, you can see the effect. We could set a particular effect that you're going to get added if you eat this particular food. But we actually only want to call the nutrition method. So let's say two. And then the saturation mod, which is also going to be two but a float here and then very important at the end we want to call dot build otherwise it's not going to work and now we've added this we can now go back to the crop block class here the blueberry crop block and we say mod items dot blueberry seeds dot get and there we go and now all of the code here has been done now one very important thing in the tutorial mod class we actually want to go to our client mod events over here and in the client setup we want to say item block render types this one right here dot set render layers mod blocks dot blueberry crop dot get and then the second parameter is going to be the render type dot cut out this one right here because otherwise the see-through parts of our crop texture are going to be white if we don't do this so this is very important that we do this indeed and now on to the JSON files, which are going to be pretty crazy indeed. Now, those will be copied over, but everything, including the JSON files and the code, is all available to you in the description below. Get a repository individual just as well. But when you really look at it, 
like, while it is quite a lot, when you really think about it, it really just has different variants for all the different ages, and it just points to a different block model JSON file. When you really think about it, not that crazy indeed. Let's also add the translation here. This is going to be the blueberry, and this is, of course, going to be called a blueberry. And then we also have the blueberry underscore seeds. Let's just add those as well. There you go. And then what you can also add is you can also add the blueberry underscore crop over here and call this the blueberry crop. Now, this will actually not show up for us, but if you have something like one probe or what am I looking at or some sort of other mod that can actually display what type of block you're looking for, then this will also already be translated. So I highly recommend adding this as well. Now, when it comes to the block model JSON files, well, there are seven of them because there are seven different textures and seven different ages. So you can see seven different block model files that we are pointing to. There are four, seven different block model files. Now, when you actually take a look at them, the actual contents are really easy to decipher. You can see we're just pointing to different textures. The only thing here is that this is apparent Minecraft block crop and the textures here point to a crop as well. So that is that really is all that there is to it for the block model files for the crops. For the item, well, we only have the blueberries and the blueberry seeds. The actual block doesn't have an item. And those are just normal item model JSON files. So nothing too crazy going on. And let's also add the textures then. And yes, of course, that means that we have seven different textures here. Zero through six for the blueberry. There you go, all of the different stages. And then for the item, we have only two, the blueberry and the blueberry seeds. And now you might say, well, luckily this is done. This is all that we need. Not quite, because what we also want is a certain loot table for this particular thing. So what we want to do is I will once again copy this over, explain a little bit, and I will show you the an equivalent in the external libraries as well. This is the blueberry crop loot table. And this is, of course, a loot table that is dependent on the block property, because what's very important is that the blueberry crop has to have a six otherwise we're not going to drop the blueberries right it has to be fully grown in order to actually drop our blueberries and that is basically what this whole thing does now it might look quite complicated here but when you really look at it there are only certain things you need to change this block right here whatever it drops there's so this is a blueberry then the seeds right here we also want to have the, another blueberry seeds right here and then also making sure that the block state property age here is the correct one that is really all that there is to it highly recommend also going down to the external libraries all the way to our favorite extra 119 data minecraft loot tables blocks and we can look at the weed loot table over here so double click on this and you can see it pretty much is the same thing just that the age here is actually seven so the max age for the for the weed is seven and for us it was six so that is pretty much all that there is to it so while it could well, it looks quite complicated. There are really only a few differences here, so nothing too crazy going on. And this is, of course, also available for download in the description below, and that should be that. Now, this is actually all that we need to do to add our own custom crop block to Minecraft, so let's go into the game and see if it works. All right, we found ourselves in Minecraft. As you see, the blueberry and the blueberry seeds have been added, so let's see if we can even plant them down, and there we go, we can. Let's get some bone meal here and let them grow, and there we are. And if we go back to survival mode, very important, because otherwise they will not drop. There we go, they even drop. That is exactly what you want to see. Now let's actually take some damage over here. We're our normal, that's great. And let's see if we can also eat the blueberries. Once, you know, I'm a little bit hungry and we can see. And there we go, some hunger and let's just start to eat them. And mm, there you go. We've eaten one of the blueberries. So everything working exactly how you'd expect it to. And that is how easy it can be to add a custom crop to Minecraft. Right, and that concludes this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. And I'll see you all in the next tutorial. So, yeah.